Welcome to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is the dynamic Sean's View Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. You know, it's pretty funny. Yeah, WrestleZone.com has, you know, pretty much had a similar report to the sources that I heard. But we're going to talk about WrestleZones. We're going to talk about my sources. We're going to talk about the view of this entire thing. Why in the hell did the WWE book Mark Henry and Rusev in the main segment of Monday Night Raw? Well, apparently there was a method to the WWE's madness, and there was actually a reasoning, if you can believe that, a reasoning behind why the WWE went ahead and did this. Now, like I said, I heard from my sources first what happened. Uh, it was like 1 o'clock in the morning, so I wasn't about to report a video at that time as I was damn tired. But here it is anyhow. Uh, a lot of readers sent in questions on social media wondering why the booking and order of tonight's Raw seemed so unusual. For those that didn't uh, catch the show live, Mark Henry and Rusev were used in the final segment of the night promoting their United Champions match. And apart from a physical, conf physical confrontation, nothing noteworthy really occurred. As was noted earlier tonight, the reason why the card seemed a bit strange was that WWE was trying to draw viewers during the halftime uh, of the NFL Monday Night Football game. A segment between Brock Lesnar and John Cena was promoted heavily throughout the night. And the producers actually filled between 15 and 20 minutes with commercials, backstage segments, and promotional spots uh, waiting for the Indianapolis Colts and Philadelphia Eagles game to go to halftime. Traditionally, WWE draws its best ratings for the second hour, especially during football season, where there's a lot of fans uh, changing between the two. While it may seem odd to feature what would normally be a mid-card segment in the main event spot, even allowing them to go 15 minutes past the top of the hour, the idea of putting all of their strongest segments and matches into the highest drawing spots could be a decent strategy. Uh, we hope to have ratings and uh, viewership information tomorrow night. Uh, and complete SmackDown spoilers, yada, yada, yada. Now, here's what my sources were saying. Something similar to that. Like I said, I heard it before WrestleZone. I swear to God, it was here, it was here before WrestleZone. You can believe me or not, but this is what happened. Uh, there is rumors that WWE tried uh, something new last night, and they adopted a new strategy that was seen as, a, as last minute as it concerns the booking of last night's Raw. However, there is rumors that this was only a trial run with WWE officials looking at Raw's hour-to-hour -hour breakdown ratings more closely as of late. Now remember, this is what my sources are saying. It's speculated that WWE put the Rusev Mark Henry angle on Raw last night to accomplish two things. To make the angle seem more important, but at the same time, WWE also realizes Raw sees a, sees a decline in the, in the third hour more often than not. So they wanted to put the juicy stuff on Raw's first hour and second hour to sell Night of Champions hard. The feeling is WWE wanted to start the second hour off really strong, and that is when Raw really has the uh, highest viewership uh, and has more eyes to be on the main angles for, for Night of Champions. Uh, on the flip side of this report, one source noted that part of this makes sense while the other part does not. Then again, the script for Raw was not even written as of Sunday night, so that can give you a little indication of the WWE's thought process right now. However, there are also some who feel that WWE put Mark Henry in the final segment of Raw because he has earned it, and, WWE, and this is WWE's way of making Mark Henry feel like a big deal. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, I heard from my sources immediately after Raw. Well, not immediately, maybe a couple hours after Raw. I was going to report it this morning. I apologize. I didn't get it out first in my elite news. I apologize. I failed on that one. I'm an hour or so behind. I should have reported it last night, but I didn't. So that's on me. But remember, I'm hurt. I heard from my sources, and then I read it on WrestleZone. So once again, ladies and gentlemen, take it as you will. You can believe or not believe, but the bottom line is, I already heard this first, and I can guarantee you that right now. Either way, Raw sucked. It was horrible. It doesn't matter what angles were where or how the show went or how the show was developed or what was the building blocks behind it. The, 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 the whole show sucked. It was a one-segment uh, show, and if it weren't for Brock Lesnar and John Cena, this whole show would have been a disaster. Subscribe.